We're keeping their heads above water. I feel like the great turnaround at Vancouver FC is just around the corner. So naturally, we're testing out a new tactic in the nation's capital. <laughs> And a very happy Friday morning, one and all. I am Mr. Cellophane. This is the American Dream. Thank you very much for joining me. If you like the series, make sure you hit a like on this video. Help the algorithm get it in front of as many people as possible so they can enjoy it as much as you do. We're focusing right now on the page of Rocco Romeo. We have slagged him a little bit because some of his headed clearances have been a bit wayward and they have led to mistakes but in general he has been one of our most solid contributors especially on the back line for this team yes he's got a goal he's got two assists that's fantastic but a 6.86 average rating since the beginning of the season is near the top of the team that shows just how much we are underperforming to be fair but he has been a stalwart and i believe he has started each and every match so far of the year on our back line and today is no exception now, as I teased in the intro, we're going to be trying out our brand new, more defensive, counterattacking minded tactic that we want to roll out on the road. We're taking our talents to Atletico Ottawa. Hopefully, it will work. We have not used this setup in a match yet, although the familiarity with it is uh, it, it's almost there. It's a lot less intense than our normal setup. Marks is going to get the starting goal. It's going to be a back four of Crawford, Romeo, Bakari back in there next to Muhammad as the right back. G and Simmons are going to take care of our defensive midfield duties. It'll be Tahid and Simon Yuntak on the wings. Johnson in the more advanced playmaker position. And leading the line is going to be the youngster, Seki. Of course, Pasher still out. Muhammadu Kane out for a couple of weeks with the injury he picked up in the last episode. And even though we do seem a little down on ourselves, we have taken points from three of our last five matches. So while we haven't been perfect and we haven't really gone on that run that we need to go on to really get ourselves off of the bottom of the table, we have been playing better. Unfortunately, it looks like we're going to let Twardek in. He is cut off, forced out wide, playing it back for Roy. Antonio, Gonzalo Pena across to the left. Geraldo will carry it deep, looking to center it in. Bailabu taken down. Are you kidding me? Bakare giving away a penalty in the first minute of the match. I mean, we were more defensive. Del Campo. I thought Marks had that say, but Ruben Del Campo picking up his third goal of the season from the spot. And a minute in, it's Atletico Ottawa 1. Vancouver FC nil. Yeah, Marks did move to his right. I think he overcompensated a little bit. Bakari nodding it down to Johnston, looking to move it forward. Tahid dropping it for G. Johnston once again across for Simmons in a slightly more advanced position. Sima Nunantak uh, throwing it into the middle. Seki dropping it down and popping it in. Yunki Seki with his first goal of the year. His first goal for Vancouver FC. And Simon Yontuk with a beautiful delivery into the middle as Vancouver able to equalize 10 minutes after giving up just that awful goal. Campagna missing the header. It drops to the feet of Seki. Cisse wasn't expecting it to come on goal. Not bad, but it's the highlight. So Ottawa looking to come right back as Kaiser plays it wide for Giraldo. He's got a runner up on the left wing side. Bayou dropping it back for Gonzalo Pena. Geraldo with it once again. Bayou up the sideline. Cut off by Simmons, but he's able to get it free to Geraldo. Geraldo carrying it deep. He'll stop. Drop it for Kaiser at the corner. Bayou moving it to his right. He shoots. And Bayou Talba scores. His third goal of the season. Took a little over a minute. But Ottawa reclaiming the 2-1 lead. And our defensive stance... But yeah, it's not really getting the job done, is it? To be fair, it could be just something that we need a little bit more time with. Uh, some of the match momentum has gone our way. Set piece, Del Campo, Campagna puts that one over the crossbar. So a goal kick for Vancouver. We're not going to get to see it, however. Just the one shot on goal, one shot on target. It was the goal by Yunki Seki. We just don't have that kick. Only down by one, so that is 
a positive. We haven't taken enough shots. Marks is stressed. I can't blame him. Isaiah Johnson looking a little anxious. I kind of can't blame him either. He really hasn't had a lot to do. He's in that more advanced midfield position. We, we've, we've got the eight men dropped back. I thought that would create like a little like cushion with which that we could look to start things, but sadly that hasn't been the case so far, although we are in control 10 minutes into this second half. Played across for Simon Yannick, dropped back for Simmons. Simon Yannick once again, looking for a man in the box before dropping it to Bakare. Simon Yannick, Mohamed along the near side. Simmons pushing it forward. Simon Yannick up that right wing, turning it back into the middle, gets through to Seki. He hits it off of the post. How did that stay out? And another one goal loss on the road. The new tactic, well, didn't do a lot for us in this first match. Let's see if we can do a little bit better. We did enjoy 61% of the possession. That is good, but just not enough shots on goal. And most definitely, not enough shots on target. Oh, happy day. Our managerial support is still very poor, but... You'll notice that's an upgrade from Abysmal. That is because we now have bagged our National C license, gotten a slight boost to our reputation, and the board has already agreed to send us out for another coaching course. Hopefully, we can get that done before we run out of time on getting our managerial support up and making the players happy, and we don't break any promises, which makes them even more unhappy. You get the drill. Well, I wish I could say things got better in our next away match at Calvary FC, but I know how much you guys hate when I lie to you. Warshawski dropping it down the daily, firing it into the back of the net to put them up 1-0, then off of the corner. Warshawski with the header, nothing Marks could really do about it. 2-0 is your score, 75 minutes on the clock. Zuniga with the ball, flipping it back post. Who's there but Akio? He's just killed us. His sixth goal of the year up to that point. Calvary 3 Vancouver nil back-to-back -back away victories. I don't think the new tactic works. At least not on the road. We did have a little bit of time. We played a couple of friendlies, and it worked like a dream in those. Back home, speaking of which, taking on Forge FC, taking an early lead 30 minutes in, and then Simmons over to Johnson in the 52nd minute. Wide for Chung, moves it to his left foot. The grass cutter inside the far post, he slots at home his first goal of the year as we salvage a 1-1 draw to a team that had won their previous two. So getting points on the board, at least. If only we could do that in back-to-back -back games. Tahid called for a handball, got a yellow card. We'll be putting down, we're putting away the penalty. Cordova taking it deep, back post Dos Santos in the middle. Own goal credited to Romeo, he did not have the greatest match and then Ferrari playing it to Fiwu stirring for Aparicio turns fires and scores another 3-0 loss this one coming at home and yes this one coming with our original tactic if I sound defeated well it's just because we can't get out of the hole dynamically Atua Hene on a handball call in the 27th minute, delivering the penalty, and that was all we needed. Eight shots apiece between us and Valor FC. Valor was on fire, came into this match in second place. We finally take care of business. Three very important points on the board. Not 100% sure, though, it is going to save our job. We still sit at the bottom of the table. We are still five points behind Calvary FC. Forge FC went on a little bit of a run. They currently have 23 points and now occupy the fifth and final playoff spot. We've got Pacific FC coming up. They are two points ahead of them, currently sitting in fourth place. Can we continue to make hay? Can we get two wins in a row? Dare I dream. A couple of squad notes uh, on that game before we move forward. David Norman, who was out on loan to San Pacifican, St. Franciscan, somewhere in the Caribbean. I'd have to look it up. His loan ended on July the 1st. He came back. He actually featured in that last match. 6.8 average rating. Not too bad. Honestly, it puts him in the top half of our squad. Callum Irving also picking up the clean sheet in that match. His first of the year. Yeah, we gave Callum Irving the start because, frankly, we were just throwing stuff against the wall. 
and seeing what was going to stick. Before that 1-0 victory, we were winless in our previous five. So because we're coming off a victory, let's try the second verse, same as the first. Irving is going to get a second consecutive starting goal. It's going to be a back four of G, Norman, Romeo, and Chung. Simmons and Johnson in the midfield. Cantave starting on the left wing. Atua Hene on the right. Fry at the 10, and Mohamedou Kane getting the start at striker. Tyler Pasher still rehabbing. He is not yet ready for selection. He did not pass a fitness test. I don't think we're going to get him out there as soon as he does, but we can't wait to get him out there. Rivalry matchup. It is a BC Derby coming to you live from Pacific FC. It's Pacific FC, Vancouver FC. Pacific in fourth place, sitting on 26 points on the live table. We are on 13, chasing Atletico Ottawa. And Pacific FC with the ball. Norman, though, steps in front of that one. Johnston up for Chung. Quickly finds Atahuene up the right wing. Atahuene into the box. Kane is there, but he is... No! I thought he was offside. But it was turned away by the goalkeeper. Chung to deliver the corner. Ten minutes in. Romeo getting his head on it. Can't... He really just... His heading is bad. Lamonte with a corner opportunity on the other side. Romeo, oh my goodness gracious. Was that a save or a great defensive play? Either way, a second chance for Lamonte uh, to take it. This time Simmons is going to deal with that easily and knock it out. Over the touchline, out for a throw. So far... So good for Vancouver, although Lamathe going, hold my beer. He finds Ndom, playing it into the middle, back for Lamathe. Young with it, looking to shoot from about 22 yards, and he's going to miss the target. Irving ultimately does not need to make a save. Trying to keep back-to-back -back clean sheets. Hopefully it is not just because it's a nil-nil draw. Hopefully we are able to get a goal on the board. We, we need to score a lot more. That negative 22 goal difference is just staring me in the face. Pacific looking to bring it up again. Young through the midfield. Lamathe wide to the right. He's got Nanko. The defense dropping back. His shot on will be easily handled by Irving. Knocked over the bar for a corner. Coming from the far side. Seluf, who scored a goal against us in an earlier matchup. Romeo looking to clear. Doesn't get a ton of distance on it. Narco. miller Jaguar with the drive. But that is going to miss the target and go out for a goal kick. 6-6. Six, six, your shots on goal. We've got five minutes remaining in this first half. And a set-piece opportunity for Norman. Our first real opportunity to get a look at him taking these. And he clatters it off of the bar. Romeo can't get his head on it. Because, of course not. Throw in for Chung. 42nd minute. Atua Hene in the middle. Kane, save made. Corner kick coming up. I think Chung is going to be the one to deliver. Oh, I am so good. I know my personnel. He does have a man short. He sends it in in Doom, trying to clear it. Young helps it along to the midfield stripe. Johnston will track that down. 6 7, your shots on goal. 62% possession in that first half in favor of Vancouver FC. And. So far, things are going okay. I, I've got I've got this nervous feeling because I just I don't want to get sacked. We keep getting those news items saying that Billy Flynn is one game away from the sack, and they've been coming for weeks. We experienced this in our journeyman save as well. Norman, another one just unable to curl it in. Past the post, he clatters it off the woodwork. That's actually the second time he has hit a set piece off of the frame of the goal. Johnston getting it off of the throw in, played forward. Chung, Atua Hene, he's got men in the middle. Kane with it across off of the post and cleared by Villay. 51 minutes on the clock and another corner opportunity for Vancouver. Chung looking to deliver. Can he make it? Third time's a charm. Yes, he can. What a flicked header by Francis Atuahene. His third goal of the year. Nanko missed the defensive header. And it's Pacific nil. Vancouver won. Getting a set piece goal. My, how turnabout is fair play. We have been the victim of far too many of those this season so far. 
It is so nice to finally get one. And Chung contributing to goals in the last couple of matches. Uh, he got one, as you saw in the highlights, that we just went over. His first of the year, now picking up an assist. So maybe Chung working his way back into the rotation here. Don't necessarily love putting new guys out there in the mid in the uh in on the defense at this point of the match. I don't like making those replacements, but tired legs are tired legs and there's there's the set piece goal we just gave up. I would like to believe that the changes we made had nothing to do with that. But this Muhammad and G. Oh Lord. We can't have nice things. Back-to-back -back wins, back-to-back -back clean sheets, not in the cards for Vancouver FC. We do get a point on the road, back-to-back -back games with points. Let's take the victory where we can get it. So 18 matches in, sitting on 13 points, still seven points adrift of getting off of the bottom of the table. Atletico, Ottawa, and Calgary FC, each on 20. Plenty of time, though left in order to take care of the business we need to take care of and actually have a i don't even care about a successful first season i just want to survive our first season if you like the video make sure you hit that thumbs up right down below subscribe to the channel if you have not continue to support us and get this video out to as many people as possible so we can share the love of our chasing of the american dream Looking to win the CONCACAF Champions Cup. We are still quite a ways away. We've got a bit to go. I hope you are here for the rest of it. See you next time. Until then, bye-bye.